Let me welcome you, for I know that it means the world to Dustin and to Kirsten to have you here. What an amazing day for us all to come together. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, dance partner, teacher. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life. And things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. Kirsten, four and a half years ago, you caught my attention wearing a gold and red gladiator costume at a Halloween party. You quickly became my best friend and captured my heart. I met Dustin at a Halloween party my sophomore year of college. I got roped into going to a costume party. He was a friend of a friend. Brandon introduced me to Brooke and Kirsten was standing right there with her. I was actually there the day that Dustin and Kirsten met though and I'm humbly going to take credit for that introduction. I don't think I was the one that introduced them, but uh, I did bring Dusty to that house party, so... And I'll never forget it because she was wearing a gold and red gladiator costume with a headband. And I just thought that was, I thought it was really cool. And he, he wasn't wearing anything. And I think that was one of the first things I said to him. I was like, why are you dressed up? Why are you? That's so lame. <laughs> I got a text from Kirsten saying I met someone. And from just that one text, I knew that this was a big deal because she is not somebody to just get excited about just anybody. And ever since then, it's just been, it's been awesome. It's uh, best friends since then. Dustin, today I take you for my husband. Our journey to this moment has included some of the best and worst times of my life. Throughout these times, you have been my biggest supporter and closest confidant. Together we make one unstoppable team capable of accomplishing all the goals we have set together. I am not sure a lifetime is long enough to give you all you deserve but I promise the rest of my days I'll always put us before me and to always hear you out even when I'm being stubborn and to let you know when you're being stubborn too. <laughs> you are kind, selfless, and courageous. You encourage me to be my best self and give me the strength to face things that seem insurmountable. You are my true counterpart. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in highest regard. These things I give you today and all the days of our life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may his face shine upon you and give you peace. You may now kiss the bride. Kirsten, you're an amazing woman. You're wonderful with Dusty, and we're so happy to have you join our family. Dustin, I couldn't ask for a better son. I love you to death, and I wish you all the happiness. We hope you have the most wonderful days together in love, and we hope that that love stays with you forever and ever. I wanted to remember somebody that's not with us tonight, uh, Mr. Poindexter, but he's undoubtedly one proud papa of his wonderful daughter and his newest son-in-law. We're sure he's smiling right now and enjoying the celebration himself.
Kirsten, I love you. You are my best friend. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to always love you. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward as long as we both shall live.